Hello everybody, uh, I am back at, at the office in Uppsala in Sweden and I would like to uh, make this video just to summarize what happens uh, this week in Kuopio in Finland during the conference Indoor Air 2022. Okay, from the point of view of Radon, so we have had two Radon workshops, two Radon workshops uh, organized, one of them organized by the European Radon Association. So definitely, uh, we are absolutely convinced that Radon is a part of indoor air quality. Radon is another pollutant that should be considered, of course. What else? Uh, CO2. CO2 could be an indicator for uh, occupancy rates uh, at the public transport. But uh, the, one of the most important takeaways from my personal view, as also as a secretary of the European Radon Association, is that definitely we need to continue with the collaboration between the European Radon Association and also ISIAC. This is absolutely important. And this is something we are going to do the next years, right? We are going to work together, ISIAC and the European Radon Association. This is what happened uh, this, uh, during these days in Kuopio. What is next? Next, uh, be ready for my updates the next week. Uh, and I am going to go to the city of Belgrade in Serbia. This is next, Belgrade in Serbia. And we are going to have the Eurados meeting, the meeting of the European uh, radiation dosimetry group, Eurados. So we will meet there in Belgrade and be ready for all the videos making a summary of the discussions around radiation and dosimetry next week in Belgrade. So see you and have a very, very good weekend.